this hopefully shouldn't take too much time if it does I will just make a cut and we come back to you when I have cleared that because I don't want to bore you with me clearing out the materials here uh, how much is that cobalt can I get all the cobalt in there oh that's that's working out beautifully and it gives me some materials that I I talked about that <laughs> that I have so much materials and now I'm saying oh nice materials as if I would still really need them the iron ore is the the thing that I always always have the most of and Oh, scrap metal too. Some of this and some of that. There are drills in there, nice. <laughs> Could just bring them over and keep them. Some grinders. Some of this. Ammo, yeah, I will remove I will remove the weapon. Uh in the <sighs> I will not activate the meteors in the in the in the very near future. I think the the amount of the amount of meteorites crashing down on on stations and ships is just ridiculous even in the in the setting that is are in the low setting and so I I don't want to yeah I don't want to strain myself with that I again it is <sighs> I'm I'm not trying to to torture myself with that I, I just want to have a bit of a a nice game here and not yeah I don't want to have to don't want to worry about yeah this all this stuff still and so I can just remove the weapon here and don't care about that at one point, I don't know, someone, I, th I, Darth Biomech again is working on a laser system uh, uh, to shoot, kind of to replace the, he has a, a, a really, really cool model again, to replace the, the guns with lasers. At that point, I might be able to yeah replace that because one thing that bothers me the most is that you have to spend a lot of magnesium to make bullets and these dang things don't hit a thing and if a laser comes into play that is able to shoot down the asteroids with precision and really gets them and all that stuff i might go for the more modern approach and use late source okay there's the connection to the to the reactors i will have to find a place let me oh why am i turning the the big azimuth container has what does he need as material um azimuth large it needs interior plates and a lot of them hmm I will just take some to bring it in place. 
I have, I think, still the. Yeah, there's a. Okay, let me take a look from a bit. There are connectors. Maybe if I turn that, then I have the connectors somewhere there. And one back here. I want to be able to get to the connector. So what I will do is I will move these thrusters up front. I want to have them relatively close to the drills so that they counter can counteract the the wobbling. And I want to have them out of the way for the machines I have to set up back here. So oxygen generators and uh, should I also put a refinery in there? No, I don't think. Oxygen generators and a lot of oxygen storage tanks. I think that's that's what I'm going to do. And if I have the space, I will add another another big container. So let me bring some small thrusters in. Two, I think. We need steel plates. It's it's always hard to to think of a good yeah, kind of of a good way to to make all this. The I still struggle with how is this all set up. So, for example, I, I still don't really know how this whole system with the with uh, trying to negate the wobble of the ship works out. I'm I'm still winging it. And so I hope just still hope that this works out. So if I place them here, it is relatively close to the to the drills and can can really go to to town here the the whole the whole thrust the system to <laughs> yeah to get rid of the the movement okay remove this and remove this now the question the next next question about this is should we close the whole system so that we can have a closed syst or a, clo a closed cabin that we can pressurize should we do that too we have the space now so we could definitely do that we could definitely do that don't add another container remove this part and then make a, make a closed system that we can live in. I think that's a neat idea that that's the thing we should do. And if we run into problems with space, I will just make the the plate a bit bigger. Another thing that I'm missing at the moment is a camera. So now I'm thinking about removing one of these drills and replacing it with a camera. So let oh <laughs> I stopped the recording. Let me 
do something here. <laughs> I, I will have to wing this now. Because I... Uh, I don't know how much time I'm I'm running a timer at the moment with the recording so I can see uh so I can see oh see s still I'm still making screenshots with uh, with F11 but I also want to oh what log content two errors what I wanted to see is Okay, that's for physics. Debug draw. So if I remove one of the drills in here, this one for example, I don't can't do the one in the middle. Is it still taking all the <laughs> There's this small spike here. If something comes through there, uh, the camera could be could get damaged. But I will do that just to have a look at what is happening there. The problem will be now. <laughs> I have to. Uh, uh, oopsie. Yeah. Again, I'm. <laughs> I I turned off the recording and uh, an unwanted cut kind of good this might be this might be a short episode I will end this episode here right now because I can't figure out how how long I recorded and how long it took for now we will see us on Friday I think this is the Thursday episode um ah this threw me off now dang I wanted to enable this view to see um yeah again how to see how big the the radius of the drills is there could be a problem with the camera but I hope this is not too bad so that nothing can go in there and destroy the camera in there. I hope this works out. Okay, camera one is set. And now... Yeah, now let me end the episode for today and we'll see us tomorrow.